KRG with Justin, and Justin's going to talk to us a little bit about the new Savage chassis that they're bringing out. Justin? This is our 180 Alpha chassis, and this will be ready for production uh, here sometime in the first quarter, 2015. Uh, it's mostly ready, but we're going to do some, a few final tweaks before we release it. Uh, and basically what this is, is it's a hybrid between the, the, the Whiskey 3 and the X-Ray, but it fits the Savage short action uh, with the 4.4 inch core spacing. And it'll fit the, uh, the side or the bottom bolt release. Nice. So, starting from the back, uh, what you see is this is basically the Whiskey 3 uh, back end, the fixed back end. But instead of using the tool that's linkable, we use a spacer system like what's on the X-Ray. Actually, it's the exact same system, so you can use the same spacer system. We kept the tool as cheap piece adjustment. Uh, and what we end up with is a real uh, lightweight, more simple back end here. And to that, we've made the uh, aluminum backbone section here. Uh, we keep the, the V-bedding system of the Whiskey 3 and the X-Ray. Uh, but the the, uh, the aluminum block isn't quite as long, and so again, it brings that weight down. Mm -hmm. uh, we add the polymer forend, uh, but instead of the forend like on the x-ray, now we have uh, some attachment points on the side. Very nice. So it gives that extra uh, utility that the guys are looking for. You can attach our sling mounts on the side here, uh, or, or uh, rail as well. And then up, up top, you can put a, a night vision cap here. It's, it's got built in. Okay. Well, overall, it looks like you've got a, a really nice blend of features from the X-Ray and from the Whiskey 3. I, I really like the uh, mounting points that you've integrated at the top here. It looks like it gives us a whole lot of flexibility. Um, as far as uh, accessories, uh, what accessories do you have that will go on the bottom here? On the bottom, uh, we, this is more geared towards the rail mounting stuff. Okay. Although we'll be bringing out uh, some versions of our other accessories, like our barrier stuff, that will fit on here. But for right now, you can fit, uh, you know, the Moel two rails on here in a couple different positions in an L three rail as, as well. Okay. Uh, now this one doesn't take the spigot uh, of the of the Whiskey three and the X ray, uh, but that's something we may think about doing a specific version for this later on. Okay. Good. Well, very nice. It looks like you've got most of the spigot functionality already built into the four end, so it uh, may not really be uh, a need for that for most users. Uh, overall, it looks like a really solid piece. Uh, it's got a really solid feel to it. There's really not a whole lot of flex in the deal. I'm not feeling any flex in the four end at all, so very nice chassis overall. And what did you say the price point? The price is going to be about $770 retail. Okay. And um, introductory price for, for a short time will be $700. Okay. Uh, the weight on this is three and a half pounds for the fixed version. We may consider a long action version uh, and, and also a, uh, a folding version if that's what guys want. So depending on the feedback that we get, then we'll, we'll proceed from there. Okay. Well, this is definitely making me want to get a Savage to uh, be able to utilize this chassis. So uh, very nice overall. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We're back here at KRG with Justin. He's going to talk to us about one of their new projects that they've got coming out. Justin? This is a Habu chassis. And this is named after the SR-71 Blackbird. Uh, kind of an exotic, uh, obviously everybody really knows about it, but a, but a really exotic, culture high performance aircraft. The Habu was its nickname, and so that's what we used because this was kind of the inspiration behind this chassis. Okay. The idea is to create the absolute best chassis available. And, and what we mean by that is it's lightweight, has every feature that you want to have on a chassis uh, without getting too crazy, and it uses exotic materials, uh, and, and it's, you know, uh, very nice, nice to look at. Mm -hmm. and so how we did that was we started on the forend with a carbon fiber tube here, which you can see, very lightweight, and then we transitioned to a uh, magnesium uh, backbone here. Uh, in addition, the Butt stock here is magnesium, and all that stuff just allows us to keep the weight down uh, very low. Uh, we still have a folding mechanism, and we've got all the toolless features that you might want. Toolless link to fold, uh, toolless cheek piece adjustment here, and our cheek piece adjust forward and, and, uh, and backward as well as laterally as well. Um, we use some titanium in the hinges here. And uh, some other aluminum parts. We end up with a weight that's around three and a half pounds. Very nice. 
Overall, it looks like you guys have done a really, really nice job with the aesthetics of it. It really is a, a nice chassis to look at. And, and holding it, it, we really can't translate across the camera how this thing feels to hold. It is really a sexy chassis. But you got this uh, nice carbon fiber up here, and of course still mounting points for all kinds of stuff that you want to put on it. Um, the, uh, do you guys have any idea of when this project may be coming to fruition? We, we do. Um, first quarter this year, we plan to have it available for, for ordering. And there will be some semi-custom options on this, some color options, possibly some engraving options. And so uh, there will be a bit of a wait time for guys on this. And we'll, we have yet to see what that's going to be, maybe four to six months, maybe something like that okay. in there. But it's very close to being ready to order. It looks like you pretty much put about everything that you can put into a chassis into it and done so in a really attractive manner. So I'd be very interested to see uh, how this works when it uh, comes to market. Well, we are, we're excited to have it out there. Um, we think we've got some positive feedback on it so far. We think uh, we hear you guys like it and uh, we'll have to get more Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.